Community Bible Study is an in-depth Bible study for all ages and generations. When I was first introduced to Community Bible Study, I had young children. It was wonderful to know that they were learning God's Word just down the hall from me. They are grown now, but the teaching they received in Community Bible Study has matured beautifully and has taken deep roots. For the Word of God does not return void, but it will accomplish the purpose for which it was sent. Lives are being transformed through the study of God's Word, and generations are being blessed, as you will see with the family you are about to meet. I'm Pat Lazaro, and we are happy to tell you a story that began over 25 years ago about the legacy of CBS and the life of our family. But before we get any further into it, let me introduce my daughters. Jennifer. I'm Jennifer Kennard, and these are my children. I'm Benjamin. I like numbers and tinkering with technology. I'm Tennyson. I love to run, and I really wish I had a dog to run with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Spencer. I love art and music. I'm Gigi. I love horses, reading, and playing with my three brothers. I'm Gail Boys, and these are my girls. I'm Gabby, and I love being around people. I'm Becca, and I love soccer and koalas. Another of my daughters, Deborah, is the teaching director for the Community Bible Study in Hagerstown. Back in the early 90s, Grandma began praying with a group of women about starting a CBS class in the Baltimore area, where women from all different churches and walks of life would be welcome. I was thinking, what a blessing to have wise women speaking into your family and just giving them the benefit of their wisdom. And so began the Baltimore Day class of Community Bible Study. The study grew pretty quickly. There was a lot of joy and enthusiasm as the women became more involved in the group. And every gift was needed to the people who were coming to class. None of my four daughters were in the class yet, but we prayed for them at the leaders' meeting. It wasn't until 2001 that my mom was able to attend CBS. My first day of CBS was September 11, 2001. We were sitting in our group when an announcement came over the loudspeaker that the World Trade Center and Pentagon had been attacked. We were stunned. My group leader immediately stopped and she prayed for the people involved, for their families, and for our nation. And then she gracefully and calmly led us through the rest of the morning. My husband and I were walking through our fourth year of infertility. And when I came to the lesson about Hannah and the birth of Samuel, I didn't want to come to class that day. I did go, but I couldn't speak at all because I was crying. But CBS is full of godly women who have walked through their own trials. And they prayed for me and prayed with me and God answered their prayers. I had been hearing about CBS for years and I was a little jealous because I couldn't go. I was working full-time teaching. After nine years of teaching, I was able to leave the classroom and go home. I started CBS in the fall of 2002 and I was nine months pregnant with Gabby. I came to CBS in early November with my mom in the Babes in Arms class and I joined three weeks later when I was born. As new mothers, it was wonderful to be in a place where we had veteran moms who could help teach us about being mothers. I loved how our leader would spend time and built into our lives, and really she loved on our babies. Dear ones, she called them. In the years that followed, we had more children, and they came with us to CBS. I came in 2005. We came in 2007. And I came in 2009. My birth was really hard, and my mom almost died when I was born. I think I owe CBS my life. There are people there who prayed me through several times that were difficult, and CBS leaders prayed through the night for me. I have been at CBS for 14 years now. My favorite part about CBS is getting to be around other Christian kids who have similar interests and backgrounds to me. As a homeschooled extrovert, I love opportunities to be around friends. CBS has helped me grow in my relationship with God. It makes me think about what I'm reading in the Bible. 
I like how the CBS teachers help me learn about the Bible in a fun way. I like being around friends I don't get to see very often and hearing what they have learned. Sometimes my family and I all work on the study at the same time. I like that because we can do it together. I like making new friends and learning a lot about God. And it just struck me anew how faithful CBS has been to God's Word. I feel that I could invite my neighbor who has never been to church, or I could invite a friend who has been in the Bible for years. And it is a bonus to have people who are wise speaking into the life of my family. I've really appreciated the community, the encouragement, and the accountability of CBS in my life. Each week as we're leaving CBS, I'll often hear one or more of the kids say how much they love their teachers. Several times a week we get to sit down together and work on our lessons. And I think I get as much out of the children's lessons as they do. So God's Word is becoming ingrained in my heart as well as in my children's hearts. In 2 Timothy 1, 3-5, Paul writes, I thank God, whom I serve, as my ancestors did, with a clear conscience, as night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers. Recalling your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois, and in your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded now lives in you also. Our CBS story began with our grandma back in 1990. It then continued with our moms. And now we are being trained up in the Word of God here at CBS. I think it's encouraging that CBS is for people of all ages. I mean, my mom is in her 70s and my daughter is eight years old and has been coming for years now. So there's really something for everyone and we have all grown through it. Your coming to class may seem insignificant, but you are actually part of a spiritual legacy in both your family and in others. Thank you for being our core group helpers because we couldn't be here if you didn't volunteer to help. Here at CBS, the servants team, core leaders, and children and youth teachers are helping to build truth into the lives of each adult, teen, and child that you serve. Thank, Thank you. you.